The sun's so bright. I can't see my phone screen at all. Ahem. <clears throat> it looks like you're having some troubles, friend. Who's there? I can't see anything. What's going on? Don't worry. I have a solution just for you. Ta-da! I have a box head just for you. There you go. Now you can enjoy the shade inside the box. There's even a spot for your phone so you won't have to hold it. <laughs> this video is so funny! I love it! It's my new fave! I can't believe they just did that to the teacher! A job well done. I knew it would work because cardboard can do anything. Yes! I've got more money that I can add to my savings jar! I can't wait until I've saved enough to afford a new puppy! Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppies are the best. I should start thinking of a name. Oh my! It's too dusty in this room! Huh? Huh? Achoo! My purse! Oh, come back! Oh no! This is getting even worse! Please stop falling! Oh no! There it goes! Over the edge! Oh my! Oh no! It cracked right open! Grandma! What happened to my puppy savings jar? Don't worry. Granny can fix this. I just need some cardboard. There. But I need a couple more of these to make some layers. And then I'll add some paint because we want it to be pretty too. Now for this circular piece, I'm gonna need some hot glue. And the doggy can sit right on top of it. Good boy. Next up, I'll add a jar right here with a slit in the lid. Now feed the doggy. Oh my gosh. Look at the coin. It's going right down to the jar. Yes! It made it inside with the rest of the coins! Ooh, hello? Yes? Like what you smell in here, huh? A sandwich! I'd like one. Okay! Oh, money? Yes, about this much. Take it, okay? I'd like one sandwich, please. My pleasure. This is gonna be the best one you've ever had. I'm giving you the works, dude! Extra bacon, too. Just look at this beauty. Enjoy! Wow, this looks great. Thanks. Huh? What? You suddenly turned high tech! Robots like subs, right? This is awesome! It's really starting to look like a party in here. And to think I did it all myself. Phew, I sure hope Madison likes it. Can't forget to wrap her presents. And… It looks professionally wrapped. Thank you very much. Oh, here she is now! Where do I put this thing? She won't see it here, right? Happy birthday! You're one year older! And it's time to celebrate! Oh no! Her present! That can't be good. Am I present? Ah, uh, cl close your eyes, okay? <laughs> what do I do? Anything salvageable down there? I know! I can turn this into something good. Use hot glue at the base of the square. Then place a piece on top and do the same thing again. Then add a piece on its side. There! Then add some more pieces in the middle. Secure the stick with some glue. Then add this piece on top. Now put it back to standing. Then add a bunch of them all together. Add your own personal flair. Then in goes the candy. I'm picking all of Madison's faves. She's gonna love this. It's simply the perfect gift. Open your eyes. Here's to a sweet birthday, honey. Are you kidding me? I want some gummy bears first! Cool! Red's my favorite color, too! Mmm! This is the best birthday ever! Now onto some chocolate! This thing's huge! Let me help you with these over there. Just tell me one. Whoa! It's all mine! Some sweets for my sweetie. Phew! Making a boat out of a cardboard box is a fun and creative project that anyone can enjoy, especially when you're looking for ways to spend time outdoors. The first step is to find a sturdy cardboard box that's big enough to hold your weight and any supplies. To make your boat more stable and durable, reinforce the sides. 
You can also use duct tape for this purpose. Add decorations. Before setting out on any adventures, make sure to test your boat in a shallow body of water, such as a pool or a lake. To make a coffee machine out of cardboard, you'll need a large box and maller boxes or cardboard tubes for various components, such as the coffee pot, water reservoir, and milk frother and scissors, tape, and a hot glue gun. Cut out the basic shapes needed for your coffee machine. Tape or glue all parts of your coffee machine. For a more realistic look, you can add details such as buttons, switches, or a drip tray for used coffee grounds. Fill the water reservoir with water and place some coffee grounds in the coffee pot. Pour water over the coffee grounds and watch as your homemade cardboard coffee machine works its magic. Ooh, it's so hard getting into the door like this. Phew, I made it. Oh my gosh, honey, what happened to you? Oh well, I was playing soccer. Can't believe how fast I was running after that ball. Okay, and then what happened? Well, then I was fighting over the ball with one of their forwards. She was a tough one. But I knew what I was doing. I got the ball away from her. Then I was driving it down the field. And then, well, I tripped on my own ankle. And down I went. And we lost the game because of that. All because I fell. Ugh, I'm so angry. Oh, I feel so bad for her. She loves playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Yep, I have a solution. Okay, let me take this pizza box and open it up like this. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Okay, now that the pizza's fully eaten, I can start to tape up these corners. Great, let's add some green paper to the bottom. Now for some decorations. I really want this to look like a soccer field. Next up, draws. I'll bend them, slide them together, and then put them in place with some glue. Let's add some stadium decorations to make it look fun. Okay, this straw's for you and this one for me. Now blow! Oh, I'm gonna get ya. You'll have to blow harder than me to beat me. Ooh, you almost had me. But I've got great defense. No way am I gonna let you win this. Yes! Goal! I win! Hmm. All right, time for a rematch then. Let's go! Hmm, no one's looking, so now's my chance to get a snack. Ugh, why is this bag so difficult to open? Come on, I need snacks! Ah! Oh no, the bag's split in half! There go all my hopes and dreams for a tasty snack! Hey look, free candy! Let's get it! Stop! That's my candy! Get out of here! Oh, there's one left for me! Oh, come on, are you kidding me? This is so frustrating! Oh gosh, everyone stole all their candy. Maybe I can help her. Uh, what the heck are you doing? Psst, hey, I've got a solution to your candy problem. Take a look at this. It's my little piggy. Go on, push his nose. See, it's a candy dispenser. I'll show you how I made him. I started with some pieces of cardboard like this. Then I attached three more. Then I added this base piece. This next part requires more cardboard, of course, but also some small dowels. We need this shape, another dowel, and two small rubber bands. This is now ready to go inside the box we're building. It should fit easily. I'm gonna slide it down and hook the rubber band on these dowels here. I'm using some tweezers to help make it a little easier. Don't forget to set the rubber band on the other side too. Then I push it back and the candy slides right out. Great! Now let's cover it up and add some little ramps pointing down. We'll want to cover the front too so it's prettier. We're on the home stretch. I added this plastic case to hold the candy. And then a cute little lid so the candy doesn't spill everywhere. Look, it even pops open so you can put in more candy when needed. Ooh, look at how delicious it is. Close the lid and then it's time to add some decorations. Wow, first off, this candy's great. But secondly, that pig is so cute. All right, I better scooch back over to my desk now. Making it rain! It's what I do all day, people! Oh yeah! I've got so much money, baby! Looks like we have a little cleanup. <laughs> I'll help you with that, dear. Oh! Please, no more, I insist! No more? Nobody tells me what to do! <laughs> oh my goodness! That's quite enough, Madison! Now get back here, I said! Gah! Slow down! I'm too old for this nonsense! Phew. Aw, too bad you're really old. What did I do to deserve this? Ugh. Wait, I know how to stop the madness. All I need is a little cardboard. Put two pegs in the middle of the square. 
and put springs on top of them. Now place this piece on top. Then add these extra pieces around it. Aren't these eyes funny? A little color doesn't hurt either. Wanna see what I made? He's wow. kinda cute, huh? Watch and learn. You hungry little guy? Eat up! What? You've gotta let me try! It's unbelievable! Yay! It worked! Yes, indeed. And look who's picking up coins now. A lot more fun this way, huh? Yeah! I'm sure he's getting hungry. This is so fun! Ah. Oh. Here you go. Okay, class. Who wants to help me up here? Let me see here. What? I'm the only one here today. Who else is there? Okay, you. Of course. I know you're up for the challenge. I'll give it my best shot, miss. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. Okay. Oh, uh, that is, um, interesting. But no need to worry. I'll just make a few adjustments. Ooh. Now, why don't you try this again? Okay, I guess. I don't know what's so hard about this. Just trace the letters like this? I'm so gonna get an A on this. That's a four. Then one more. Looks like I'm all finished. Oops. A little blunder there. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. I hate to do this, but… Oh. I think this ought to help me. Here you go, teach. Well… Let's try this one more time! <laughs> um, let's see… Oh! I think I found a solution to the problem! Don't need that. But this'll do. Yep. Just start with a long triangle and draw the numbers on one side. Okay, I'm back! Use this! Oh, I definitely don't need that. Sorry, I forgot one detail! First, we need a little sprinkle. Just look at all those things go! And now, we've got some pretty numbers. See? Wow, I appreciate all that bling. Then let's try this one more time, shall we? Now you know what to do. Watch this magic. Smooth as butter. Wouldn't you agree? Now let's lift off the stencil. And would you look at that! Those are some sick numbers. And you know what that means! A plus! That's right! Give it up for me! Creating a ladder for small dogs from cardboard boxes is a fun and simple project that can help your furry friends reach those hard-to-reach places. Several large shoe boxes, or a cereal box, work well for this project. You can experiment with different sizes and heights to create a customized ladder for your dog. Have your dog approach the ladder and encourage them to climb up or down. Offer treats or praise as they use it, helping them feel confident and comfortable with the new addition to their space. Creating a frame for a mirror using cardboard, paper, and polymer clay can be a fun and easy DIY project. Carefully measure and cut out the cardboard and paper. Make sure your measurements are accurate to ensure a perfect fit for your mirror. Cover the paper and cardboard with polymer clay. Form the frame shape. Using your fingers, smooth out any imperfections along the edges of the frame. You can also use a toothpick or skewer to create a decorative edge, if desired. If you'd like to add some color or protection to your frame, you can paint it with acrylic paint. Let the paint dry completely before handling the frame. Hang your beautiful new mirror frame on the wall and enjoy! Vroom, vroom, vroom! I'm totally gonna win this race! No one can stop me now! Bye, Susan! I'll see you for our lunch next week! Gosh, what a fun afternoon! It's always nice hanging out with friends! <gasps> Mom put her car keys right over there! Well, I guess I better start getting dinner ready! What if I… Just sneak a little closer. She can't see me behind these flowers. Hmm. What was that noise? It sounded suspicious. Huh. 
no one's there. Time to switch from flowers to this bigger fern. Yoink! Tiptoe, tiptoe, tippy toe. I'm here! I got the car keys! Wow, real keys! <laughs> Time to drive a real car! Woo! Best day ever! Ugh, let me go! I wasn't driving that fast! Ma'am, are these yours? Oh no! Not my baby! And not my car! Ugh, okay, I just need to do something else to get my car racing fixed. I've got this piece of cardboard, so let me cut it some shapes. And now it's time to add some glue on top like this. And then the bottom. I'm gonna stick another matching piece on top. Good. And now I'll just do the same thing with the glue as before. Adding a third piece on top should do it. This one has no hole in the middle. What's the next step? More glue, of course. And then putting another piece of cardboard on that one, too. There we go. That should finally be enough layers for this project. Now it's time to add some paint, because that's the most fun part. I really love this orange color. It's so bright and pretty. And done. I'm putting a phone case in there. I measured beforehand, so it's a perfect fit. We've got more cardboard pieces and more glue now. And of course, we'll be putting them together for more layers. This next part is a bit tricky because I want this piece glued at an angle like so. And then I just need for it to dry. Once it does, though, I can paint it. Time to put it all together. It'll just slide in place with this battery. Ta-da! I made my own steering wheel holder for my phone. Vroom, vroom, yeah, I'm in first place. No one can catch me. This is the best game ever. And the best steering wheel, too. Vroom. Man, I sure am hungry today. Oh well. Now back to work. Or maybe I should clean these. Come on, don't procrastinate. Ahem, honey! Oh, there you are. Yes! Time for you to do some cleaning. I don't think so. I just did my chores, see? Oh. It's your turn, dad. Let me think about that one. Actually, that cardboard's about to save the day. I've got a very good idea. Once these cuts are made, use hot glue along the edge here. Then attach these pieces to it. Once you've done all of them, use the clothespin at the bottom. And place these little signs around. And that's how it's done, folks. What do you say we play some pinball? Cool! Loser has to clean the dishes. Oh, it is so on! Why don't you go first, Madison? <laughs> go! Oh, get it around the bend! Almost there! 20 points! Yes! Okay, let me give it a go here. Ha! Oh no. Looks like you're doing the dishes, daddy-o! Better luck next time! Uh... Ugh. How's it going, dad? Room for one more? Pinball? What was I thinking? Oh, time to hit the hay. This feels incredible. You guys ready for some shredding? I'm gonna make your ears bleed! Madison, it's far too late for rock and roll. Look what I learned! <laughs> Please, I need to get some sleep. Ugh, fine. Maybe if I just play quietly? Ugh. This is gonna be a long night. Woohoo! This one's for all my fans! Yeah! Uh-huh! Uh, that's enough! <sighs> is that the box Madison's guitar came in? This is the answer to my prayers! Hope is finally in sight! Need my cardboard guitar! See this? Now it's enough! Place them here! And use this pick to make some holes. Then use string to create, well, strings. In you go! Tape them down so they stay put. Now use some hot glue all over the back. And it's done! Looks like the real deal, right? Here goes nothing! I'll trade you this for this. That went more smoothly than I thought it would. Sweet relief. Nighty night, my little rock star. Wee! Wee! Mmm. Ha. Making a paper bucket out of cardboard is a fun and easy craft project that you can complete with your family or friends. 
Gather your materials. You will need an A4 or letter size sheet of cardboard, scissors, tape, a pencil, and a ruler. Measure and mark the cardboard. Fold the cardboard in half, both horizontally and vertically, so that it forms a square. Then, measure and mark the cardboard into four equal sections, both horizontally and vertically. Cut along the marks, fold and tape the flaps. Take one of the flaps from each side and fold it inwards, creating a cone shape. Tape the folded flap in place to secure it. Repeat this process with the remaining flaps on the other side of the cardboard. Roll the bottom. Tape the sides. Fold the top edges of the sides inwards and tape them to the bottom of the paper bucket, securing them in place. Decorate your paper bucket. You can make it look like a traditional paper bucket or get creative with unique designs and patterns. Whoa, look at her bouncing that basketball. She's really good at dribbling. Look, she's taking a shot. Oh, no way! The ball rolled right over to me. Now's my chance. I can be a basketball star too. Uh, what the heck is she doing with my ball? Yeah, check out these killer baller moves. What the? Oh no, here she comes. I'm taking the shot. Here it comes. Yes! <laughs> It wasn't even close. Anyway, this is my ball, so that's enough out of you. Find something else to do. What? Why does she have to be so mean? She thinks she's so good just because she can actually play basketball. Hey, look at this. I can definitely use this. Let me just set out this piece of cardboard. And now it's time to get crafty. I'll just put a line of hot glue down the tube just like this. And then I can press it to this flat piece on the ground. And then I'll attach these little strips in a sort of V-shape. The other end of the tube is going right into this hole I cut in the box. Next up, a hoop! Because you can't really play basketball without one. I'll use this plastic bag as a net. I'll just have to snip off the bottom though so the ball falls through. <sighs> My basketball is totally deflated. But hey, cardboard can fix that too. All right, time to practice my b-ball skills so I can get better. Yes! My first basket on my new setup! It's working! Another basket! Woo! I'm the best! Making toys from cardboard is not only an eco-friendly and cost-effective way to entertain your kids, but it also encourages their creativity and imagination. Browse through books, magazines, or websites for inspiration. You can also let your child help design the toys. Some fun ideas include cars, airplanes, animals, dollhouses, and simple puzzles. For added fun, add moving parts or string them together so they can be manipulated. For, for example, you can attach a string to a paper airplane so your child can fly it around or create a pull string toy that moves its arms and legs. Making a cardboard jewelry holder in the shape of a hand is a fun and creative project that can add a personal touch to your vanity or dresser. Cut out a hand shape from the cardboard sheet. Fold the top part of the hand inward to form the fingers. Make sure the folds are even and smooth. Use a ruler or a template to ensure consistency. Tie a knot in one end of the string, ribbon, or yarn. Thread the other end through a small jewelry hole and attach it to the tip of each finger. Make sure the nails are secure and spread evenly. Add beads to the fingers if you want. Paint and decorate. Once your cardboard jewelry holder is complete, hang it on the back of a door, display it on your vanity, or attach it to your dresser using small nails or tacks. Your custom-made cardboard jewelry holder will keep your precious accessories organized and within reach. Party time! Dance party! Let's live it up! Phew, it's hot in here. I could use a break, I think. Uh, no room on that couch. And those bean bags are taken. Well, I guess I'll just try and make some space for me. Hey, come on! What are you doing? We're sitting here. Oh, ah, uh, shoot, I fell down. Guess there's not room for me after all. Hey, what's going on over there? Oh, shoot, this bottle's empty. Better get rid of it. That whole trash bin is full of empty soda bottles. Just need to dig a bit more. Yes, I totally have a great idea. I've got all these bottles and a cardboard box. I've just gotta organize them so they'll all fit in here. Perfect! Now I can just close this box up. And then I'll tape it shut to make sure it stays closed too. Hey, toss me that pillow, will ya? Thanks! This'll work perfectly. And then a little rug over the top too. And then sigh. Now to put my sewing skills to the test. Got it! Just gotta stitch these little rugs together now. Okay, that should be good enough. Let me just snip off the extra. Alright, I totally made my own seat. 
kinda looks cute, too. Time to get this and me back to the party. I just love my little seat so much. But I need a snack, too. Let's see. Do I want something to eat or something to drink? Something to drink for sure. Hey! That guy totally just took my seat! Ugh! Oh, thanks. I do want a trip. Uh-oh. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Didn't you read the signs? Oh, no! Loud music! And look at all that trash. A messy room is just the start. By next year, she'll be jaywalking. Then again, it's a shame to throw out such nice stuff. Come to think of it, there's a lot of nice things in here. Ooh, a hammer. Maybe we could put it to better use. And pallets, a builder's best friend. After glue guns and duct tape. With some cardboard and a little hammer and nails. These pallets can become your very own castle. But maybe we should add that little something extra. <laughs> maybe something in these garbage bags. Or better yet, the bags themselves. They make for some nice curtains in a pinch. And we can roll them up whenever we don't need them. Ooh, nail polish. I wasn't going to say anything, but <laughs> ugh, those nails. Oh, you're using it to decorate. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Not bad. Is there anything else we can use? Cool, spray paint, because we should probably save that nail polish. That's a nice way to get some texture. Black and yellow. She must really like bees. Or Hufflepuff. And nothing beats a good stencil when it comes to painting. When she's done, she should use this for an art studio. Ooh, chains. What else can we add? <gasps> to think that someone wanted to get rid of all this nice paper. But now we can use it all to wallpaper this house. Do we have enough? Where else can we get paper? Oh, good idea. Those poems aren't doing you any good in your diary. And these old magazine clippings, too. But do you know what would really lighten things up? A window. She's got a good reach. And this wrapping paper will help fill up this window. Much easier to install than glass. She seems to like stars. But I don't think she wants to sleep under them. We need a roof. Hmm. This clothesline should help. Nice of her to leave the clothes. Time to put your knot tying skills to work. Girl Scouts, don't fail me now. Let's just hope it doesn't rain anytime soon. See? I told you she liked looking at stars. Yes. Ugh. Hmm. This floor seems pretty uncomfortable. No one will miss this duvet cover and pillows. They left it outside. And with a little imagination and stuffing, they can become a mattress. Aw, isn't this teddy bear cute? And more importantly, filled with stuffing. You know, we probably could have stuffed in the whole bear. Let's put all this trash to work.
especially when there's so much fun to be had with the bag. Blow it up, and we've got a bunch of pillows. Now what's she up to? Oh, this car tire can make a really good swing. Or some nice shelves. <laughs> really thinking outside the box. For the box. And look at that. It rolls right to the box. Time for some decorating. Bring out the spikes. Now she can listen to music as loud as she wants. Charges of noise pollution notwithstanding. But if we're careful, we could put this broken glass to better use. Soften the sides with hot glue, and it's a nice mirror. Don't you just love when you find free stuff in trees? Though if the feathers make you sneeze, should you really use it? Haven't seen her in a while. Hmm. What's she up to? Oh, what a shame. Wasting all that good yarn hmm. like that. We can use it for another craft. With a few twists and turns, we can decorate this letter E without sewing. And at this rate, we can decorate the whole alphabet. Hey. How nice, teaching that little boy to share. Rainbows are nice, but it's missing a special color, black. Now it's part of a foot massage walkway. Oh, and right to the pool, too. I wonder what she's planned for this hula hoop next. It needs to be filled up, except for the center. Now she can have snacks while taking a dip. Looks like somebody's a little envious. Hmm. Mm -hmm. nah. Oh, they patch things up, meaning she gets to keep her pool privileges. 